Hi, thanks for joining me on Wilderness with Imani. Today, for the first time, I think I'm going to be able to fish Indian Creek Reservoir. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get up here, and I wasn't sure if there's going to be ice on the lake. And this is, uh, it looks like I'm going to be able to make it. Although I have a four wheel drive, the road is completely covered right there, and I don't want to get stuck when that snow gets slushy this afternoon. And so I'm about a couple miles from the lake, or about a, if I beeline it, I can see the water down there. So it looks like if I, if I hike down, I can get down there in about a mile. If I'm able to catch anything, um, I want to uh, keep some fish, so I'm going to have to haul my cooler down there because it doesn't look like there's any snow at lake level. Um, I'm calling this a win because I wasn't sure I was going to even be able to fish. But I can see the lake. If I can see it, I can hike to it. Um, this lake is located just a little bit south of Lake Tahoe, um, kind of close to the small town of Markleyville. So without further talking about it, I'm going to start hiking down and carrying my gear. I can't haul my napping kit, my bag down there, but trust me, I'll make do. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. There's a chance I could have made it on that road, but man, it's completely covered. I went a little bit far. My car doesn't have very good clearance. It's four-wheel drive, but it's a city boy Jeep. But I'm not going to get up at 4.30 in the morning, drive an hour and a half, and get within two miles of a lake and not beat, not fish. Indian Creek Reservoir is kind of in that same general area as Carson Pass and uh, the lakes off the 88 that I fished, uh, Caples and Silver Lake. Silver Lake, I really, I didn't get anything. It was, that was a lake I had to break up all that ice on. But you can tell this is a bit more of an arid, arid area because it's got a lot of uh, plants that like dry conditions. So I picked up the road. It's nice and dry down here, but it was just that one bend up there had more snow than I was comfortable driving over, and I just didn't want to spend hours digging myself out with a shovel because there's no phone service here, and I'm all alone. It's really low, and there's a levee over there, but the bigger levee or dam is down that way, down this road farther. If you've got a high clearance four-wheel drive, you could get here in two seconds. And you don't have to drive like me that only has like a foot of clearance. <laughs> Where I was bottoming out, I'd bottomed out on a couple stretches of snow and I'm like, okay, I'm done. Oh, cool, check that out. That is a young bald eagle. Cool. There's a pair of them flying around. And that's where I came from up there on top of that little area of the roads up there and I came down and walked all the way around there. The lake's really low as you can see, so I don't care, I'm fishing any which way you slice it. Came down on that side and it's really shallow where that dirt road ends, but if you walk across the jetty, I'm in this corner and the water gets a lot deeper. So this is plenty deep. This is the best water I've seen, so hopefully we can make something happen. second bite I've gotten and it's not really taking it. 
mean, there's fish here. Which is the good news. But it's not really aggressive. not taking it. I fished Indian Creek Reservoir and I didn't catch anything. So I'm going to call it a day. It's getting dark. It's windy. It's cold. Um, there's definitely a hot cutthroat trout in here. I saw a dude earlier catch one on green power bait. He said he caught one earlier too. And it wasn't very big. It was like 14 inches, but it was, it was a beautiful fish. get that last strike but uh it's uh indian creek reservoir is uh, a place where you catch the hot and cutthroats I, I mean that guy caught two so uh i didn't have any luck uh, i got a few bites and they would just pick it up and drop it and nothing on night crawlers it was all power bait was the only thing i got bites on but they weren't very aggressive bites so I don't know. I'm going to have to come back and, and try it again. So, sorry I didn't have any fish to catch to show you today. Uh, I gave it my best. Thank you for joining me on Wilderness with Imani. Until next time.